What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator, and this... This is Hanging Heavy. <laughs> and uh, today I'm joined with... Uh, if you recognize this music, he's a longtime collaborator. Very close friend. Uh, brother, one would even say. And uh, I'm talking about none other than my boy, Malbolgia. What is going on? I'm just angry. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, we have a tradition around here before we get too into the show. Where at the top of every show, we take a shot, we chug a beer, we take a big old drink of whatever we got near. And uh, today, I provided the shots. <clears throat> and today's shot is a uh, flavored vodka from Stolignaya. Stolignaya. Stolignaya, I think. Whatever. The To me, my favorite vodka. Uh, but yeah, fucking, they have a chamoy flavor. Chamoy. I have no idea what you're talking about. What is this chamoy you speak of? <laughs> Um, well, apparently, according to the Mexican folklore, it's uh, some flavored shit. I don't fucking know. I think it's made from apricot. It's like a sauce or whatever. Yeah, it's just like a spicy sauce. You add <clears throat> fruit and shit. I think it's made from apricot. Oh, well, that's not important. But uh, here we go. We're going to do a quick little taste test of this shit. You ready? Yes, sir. I got it open, wide open. Are you people listening in three, two, one. Ah, <coughs> so bit spicy. Woo. <coughs> Jesus Christ, this is just a rubbing alcohol. What the fuck? Well, you let it get hot. It's so cold. I don't think the hotness of the coolness will. Woo. I mean, it has a very good flavor, but I think it's not meant to be taken straight. Oh, well. But it's, it's a very pronounced. Yeah, I, I, I can. Like the chamoy flavor does not taste straight. Normally, in flavored vodka. Yeah, that, you know, that's that's what, what I was concerned with. Especially, what was it? What did we get one time? Was it the the mango one? Oh. Any any mango flavored alcohol, in my opinion, it's fake. That mango does not taste like that. It just tastes like some rotting fruit. This one has a very good chamoy flavor, but it is yeah, it's it's a stiff drink. Well, I mean, it's just. Normally, like flavored vodkas, they reduce the alcohol content, but this is just straight forty so. percent. Yeah. And uh, it's fucking good. I I love it. What is it? Uh, what is that other shit called? Uh, timer. Dutchman one? No, 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 no. It's a. Uh... Okay, so the one that uh, it reminded me of. And uh, not a sponsor, but this shit is fucking delicious. If you ever see a bottle of it, it is called Gran Malo. No, all right. It's uh, a tamarindo tequila. Oh, no, that was because of the, of, the, of, the herb, of the herbiness of the tequila. Uh, for me, uh, the, the, the stoli chamoy is like it's essentially trying to be what this gran malo shit is uh i want to say this shit isn't too expensive either the gran malo. I, I, i'll bet i would bet my bottom dollar that the, that the gran malo is going to be way more expensive than the flared vodka flared vodka are literally like the cheapest thing we can get on you can get in in a liquor store cause it's kind of watered down vodka so Hold on, I'm gonna see if they have it. Uh, fuck off. No, they no. don't. Um, but yeah, this Gran Malo shit apparently, depending on where you get it, is up to up to eighty dollars. Told you how much it's stolen. Uh, I'm having like, a little bit of technical like, difficulty, so let me go ahead. Like and, uh, let me go ahead and take a quick commercial break. Uh, it's five ninety nine. Rich and rare. 
Do you ever wake up in the morning feeling like you just don't have enough get up and go? With the new product coming in from our glorious new sponsor, you can take that flooded, stalled ass engine you call a heart and you can turn it into something strong, something powerful. Something with some get up and go. I'm talking about nothing other than It's not for pussies and it's gonna make you a man. I'm talking about the alpha man, the man that comes and takes your bitch and fucks your girl. And if your girl's a guy, he'll fuck him too. Because Monte Mel. It's got proprietary blends of Monte ingredients. Made in the Monte. By the Monte people, for the Monte people. I'm talking about Monte It'll get you up, it'll get you perked, and it'll get you stepping. There's nothing better than a hot glass of Monte to get your juices flowing. And if you don't understand what that means, Ever wonder what made Maverick so special in Top Gun? Well, that's because he was our very first test subject, and now he's going Monty Milk. And we're back, and shout out to Monte Milk two times for getting me ready every day. What the fuck? Uh, but yeah, that, fucking. That was our live studio audience. Yeah, we we uh, recorded live in front of a studio audience. Uh, hmm. Well, dude, fucking last week, I recorded a solo episode, and uh, I tried martinis for the first time. Oh dear! And. Uh, they're pretty fucking good. Oh yeah, they are. They just uh, they carry a punch, man. Oh yeah. I'm glad that I can put olives in this bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, do you, do you prefer uh, gin or vodka in your martinis? I never had a vodka martini because when I wanted to have martinis, I wanted to have like like the traditional way. Yeah. If you order a martini, I know there's like a thousand ways to order a martini, like uh, extra dry, dry, whatever, wet, thrifty, thrifty, but you know, this whole, you know, like lore and, and etiquette to doing that. But when I wanted to try a martini, I wanted to try like parquet originally, like with gin. Because I've heard, I've seen, I've heard that depending on the bar, it doesn't matter anymore. But if you want a vodka martini, you have to say vodka martini. Yeah, yeah. If you just say martini, it's implied it's gin. Yeah, well, I mean, aren't. Uh... Aren't martinis uh, originally made with gin? Yeah, from my, from what I, when I was trying to, because I I made my martinis, I wanted to make sure what was like the original, and yeah, it was gin. I, I bought I think um, beef eater gin, mm-hmm. which is not it's not a top shelf, but it, it's an okay martini. Yeah, yeah. They they recommend a Tanqueray or or even those on like mm-hmm. high class you know yeah. gins, but. The Bombay or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but like I'm just gonna drink it by myself. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna impress anybody. So I just wanted to see what a martini tastes like. And then I I've had a martini at the martini bar and it tasted like like almost the same as the one I made. So sounds like you made it right. Yeah, but it's hard to mess up. I mean, there's two ingredients plus the plus whatever garnish you put on, or you put olives or. Yeah, so I personally prefer dirty martinis. Oh, so you put like with a brine, a little bit of brine, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so the recipe that I, I, uh, the last week I made a gin martini and a vodka martini. I made them both exactly the same, and I just alternated between gin and vodka. <clears throat> but the gin that I use, I, I don't really know what good gin is. I personally don't even like gin. But the one that I bought was the Botanist Island Dry Gin. I want, I I want to try the bottom one, but I want to try like the purple one. Yeah, the expensive one. 
Yeah, and it's this one like it's I think it's lavender. I don't know why it's some purple. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit. Some berry from you know. I think they're like uh, elderberries or some. Yeah, bullshit. or, or, or some no, fla- like juniper. I think juniper berries. Well, uh, no, they all have juniper berries, but the purple one it has to have something extra, like uh, some sort of flower that you'd find on the mountain. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Like uh, on a sunny day in, in August. Oh yeah, it, it only blossoms on the second Tuesday of October. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just... uh, like I said, I didn't know any good gins. This one looks like it's a fancy gin, so I, I bought a what are those mini bar sized bottles, just so that if I didn't like the gin, I don't have a fucking right. a handle of gin in my freezer. Or... Yeah. So yeah, um, the gin one was pretty good. I I, I don't hate it, uh, but I prefer the vodka one. Because uh, gin, gin is, like, dry. Yeah, yeah. And then the, what is it, vermouth? Yeah, the vermouth. Is also dry and, like... Well, also, see, that's another thing. The vermouth, you could, you could also mess with it. I think the one I got... Uh, I don't remember the one I got was a dry one. But there's dry... Like, right now, I have a sweet vermouth, like, in my house that... I can't get rid of it. It just literally doesn't, does not taste good at all. Yeah. Me being someone that, how, how, how do we say it? Like, how do the Irish people say it? It's fond of the drink. That, that's just been sitting around my house forever. And every now and then when I have nothing to drink, I take little shots of it. Ew. But it's not, it doesn't really taste sweet. It, I don't know. It's, it just, it's a red vermouth. And it's a little sweet, but I don't know. It, it just tastes weird. I haven't found anything like to pair with to make it taste better. But yeah, they can have dry removes, extra dry, sweet removes. So some people use half and half, like everything else, some people use half and half, half dry, half sweet. You know, you can, you know, yeah, the you, you can it, mix it's it. It's drink. You can, do, you can do whatever you want, man. Yeah, well, I just bought like uh, a what I think is a decent looking vermouth. It was dry, but not extra dry or none of that shit, what, right? What 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 brand did you buy? I don't remember. Hold uh, on, let me, let me look it up. The bottle green and the bottle like all green. Well, most of the bottles are green. Uh, Hold on, I have my my receipt right here. Let me look for it. Fuck. Uh, oh shit! This was last week, right? Fuck. It was Lejeune Vermouth. Damn, that's your you, fancy boy. I mean, it was six dollars. <laughs> the one about was, uh, the martini uh, and rosé thing. It's a green bottle. It's like normally when you when you when you Google martini, that pops up. So you go like, ah, oh, that has to be it. When you Google martini, that pops up. Uh, it's the martini and rosé. I Which think it's one? a driver. Martini and Rossi. Mart- yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my God, now it tastes good. Like, well, yeah, fucking. So, uh, I bought a a bottle of Tito's vodka, and I'm drinking martinis right now. That's nice. I I, I made like uh, I ma- I pre mixed my vermouth with uh, the brine and. Oh, so and everything I, I, ready? Yeah, I had a little extra from last week, so I figured, fuck it, I'll kill it. I'll kill what little mixture I have left, and if I ever get the the ganas for another uh, martini in the future, I can make it, right? And the... <laughs> I remember in the 80s when I had those uh, three martini lunches. How are we able to come back all, all slash from all lunch? fucked yeah. up, yeah. Yeah, or at least like a, a good buzz, and now I'm gonna be useless the rest of the day. I'm like, <laughs> no, you're gonna, you're gonna be feeling good. Especially if you're working Wall Street, you're like, ah, just sell everything, sell it. And yeah. the, well, I mean, the they had the they had the remedy for that back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, Maybe like shit you watch the Wall Street, you had to something that counteract the alcohol. What what uh, in uh, probably every uh, Chicano's. Uh, like a birthright of a movie. What do, what do they refer to it as? Uh, Columbia's cup of coffee. Yeah, Columbia's cup of coffee. Yeah, they 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 had that good shit in the eighties. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. She looks like a old legged to me now. <laughs> but yeah, fucking. So your boy's drinking martinis now, thinking he's fucking f- fancy as fuck. That's nasty. Upscale. Yeah. Uh, but no, nah, after one or two, I'm like, I'm getting kind of drunk. I think yeah, I, he did. He did but he, you're drinking two shots of liquor. Yeah, that's like two and a half shots of just booze. Yeah, like yeah, like oh, you shake in a shaker. It waters down a little bit, but how much can I really water down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how, you're not shaking for twenty minutes. Yeah, how much can it water down in fifteen seconds? Uh, yeah, but I, I was reading that you're you're not supposed to shake gin martinis because you can bruise the gin. Uh, yeah, well, now they have a lot of rules. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Bruise the gin? I don't know. Whatever. Fucking liquor snobs, dude. But they're like, yeah, go ahead and sh- uh, shake up your vodka martinis like some heathen. All right. But yeah, fucking. I, sh- uh, I stirred mine either way just because that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but yeah, fucking. It's pretty goddamn good, man. I'm I'm not even gonna hate on it. Uh, but yeah, fucking. Uh, we were. Or I was gonna bring up some shit that I was watching. I was watching some boxing earlier, and when it finished, I was just flipping through some channels, and I stumbled up upon, uh, I guess a new sport league that I wasn't aware of until today and uh it's called karate combat karate combat and what's that about let me pull it up the karate combat league is a brand which promotes the first professional full contact karate league it's been a hosting event since 2018 and it's uh, privately owned <clears throat> but yeah, apparently it's karate, submission, and grappling. I didn't know karate was a combat sport. <laughs> well, I kind of it, it has to be like you're hitting somebody else. That's combat. Yeah, I guess. But whatever. Fucking. Uh, so here, look, watch. People ask apparently to Google: Are takedowns allowed in co- karate combat? And here, the answer it says is judges shall evaluate the round score of effective striking, effective takedowns, and control of the pit fighting area, and effective aggressiveness. Effective takedowns are evaluated by considering the number of successful executions of legal takedowns, followed by efforts to finish the fight. <clears throat> so this is the one thing that was like, what the fuck? So they're... It's not a ring, it's not a cage, it's not an octagon, it's not a hexagon or a fucking tetrahedron, right? It's a pit, quite literally. It's a square. Uh, do you remember in the 60s and 70s, they, they used to love making sunken living rooms? Yeah. Like, I have one. <laughs> yeah, I know you have one. Okay, so think of like the depth of how deep my two step uh two step downward i mean it's maybe a foot tall in depth right yeah uh, more or uh, less I'm, I'm probably less but whatever let's let, let's give it a a foot or no no actually it there's no steps on it so it's a square and on the squares each uh i guess uh if you were to consider where the walls would be they're at 45 degrees Oh, okay. And it's all flat. It's like not slick, but it's all flat. There's no bumps. There's no cracks or whatever the fuck. So it, it's essentially like a basket in a square shape. Uh huh. I don't know what the fuck the walls are for like that. Maybe so that they don't hold on to the cage. Or maybe because they can like fight on their back better on the walls. I, I don't know, but I saw the... The Pit, as it's called, and sick name. <laughs> but yeah, fucking, they, they fight in like a little recessed hole. It's fucking crazy looking. And it, it, sound, it sounds like, uh, it sounds illegal. 
I don't know, man, but it's different, which is fucking sick. But still, like, what the fuck, dude? How are how are people? I I want to see the ring utilized properly. And I don't know, I don't know what that looks like, because the fight that I saw, they mostly did stand up. And I mean, kicking and shit, but I mean, no one really went to the cage, or the. I don't even know what you would call it. Fuck. The slant? I don't know. <laughs> oh, be careful saying that one. Fuck. <laughs> right? I'm gonna go to slant. <laughs> but yeah, the Karate Combat League. It, what caught me like by surprise is uh, the commentators. Immediately I recognized, uh, I guess, the main commentator's voice and... If you guys don't know combat sports, this dude is a beast, a motherfucker. His name is Boss Rutten. Oh shit! Yeah, so he's uh, he was commentating. They had a like some other fucking nerd commentator there. Didn't get his name. Don't give a fuck. I heard Boss Rutten, and I was like, "Fuck it, don't change it. Let's see how this develops." Because if he's involved, then this shit is gonna be fucking sick. <clears throat> Dude, I don't, I don't interrupt you, but as an aside, like, like literally, I, I just saw like, um, I think he has like a YouTube channel now where he cooks. Boss Rudin? Yeah, he's like, I just literally saw, he, like, there's a guy that I watch on, for cooking shows, well, he, he collabed with Boss Rudin, I'm like, what the fuck, like, are you fucking shitting me, I hadn't heard that name in years, and yeah, apparently he has a, like, a, like his own channel on YouTube. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, this is from fucking 10 years ago. Um, he, he just came out like literally last week. Maybe he didn't have, uh, I don't know if he has posted anything new. Cause... I don't know. I'm not on his show. Oh. Or I'm not looking at his page I or whatever. I'm just looking at uh, whatever the fuck Google recommends right away. Um, yeah, but yeah, he, has, he, has, he cooks now, apparently. Dude, he's looking in great fucking shape. Yeah, dude. He's a fucking motherfucker. I'm sure he's on... Some kind of TRT or HGH or. I mean, yeah, the way he looks, he's on something. Yeah, dude, he's like 60. He sold it so. Okay. Yeah, but no 60 year old looks like that naturally. All right. Let's see how old he is. Uh, 58. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, fucking, I saw that shit. And it tripped me out, man. The pit. Say what you want about my mother, but meet me in the pit. (laughs) That's crazy. All right. Well, I'm going to take another word from one of our sponsors. And then uh, we're going to get back right into it. (laughs) Richard. Now, I know there's many chilies out there on the market, but ain't no one gonna tell you this chili ain't like a punch in the mouth. <laughs> Texas style, Texas made. Sloppy Seth, Texas chili. Shout out one time to Sloppy Seth, Texas chili. That shit'll fill you up good, brother. It's nice and spicy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, today I was uh, hit with some pretty uh, interesting and kind of surprising news. And uh, well, it, it started a couple days ago. Uh, let me see. Um, I want to say sometime last week. Your boy, fuck, I'm going to fuck this up for doing that. Way to go, idiot. Pause that shit. Uh, Mute that shit. Yeah. uh, Somebody finally introduced some new music. And I thought it was pretty decent for uh, for what it is. I'm going to go ahead and play it in the background. If we get demonetized, well, fuck you. These guys already have enough money. But if they want to go ahead and take whatever 10 cents this video makes they can have it i guess but the first song is some good old 
thrash by none other than guitar legend Carrie King. And the song that's playing in the background is called Idle Hands. It was uh, released 12 days ago from recording this. And uh, I'm not exactly too sure who's in the fucking band. I don't really give a fuck other than Carrie King. Okay, here we go. It's Carrie King on guitar, uh, drummer Paul Bostaff, who played for Slayer, bassist Kyle Sanders from Hell Yeah Brother, uh, and Phil Demo of Machine Head fame on uh, backup or other guitars. And the uh, vocalist is Mark Osegueda. Osegueda? Osegueda? Whatever. Uh, Tight butcher in the name. Yeah. I don't know if it's. Uh, it, that doesn't fucking matter. Whatever. Uh, he's from Death Angel. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of them or whatever. But from what I hear, if this was released 30 years ago. Everyone would can. Everyone would think this was fucking Slayer. I, I still think it's. I, I still think it sounds like. I want to sound like Slayer. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, Carrie King was Slayer's sound, right? Yeah, of course, of course. But even this vocalist, he sounds like a young Tom Mariah. Uh, um. It, it's good to know that people are still making solid fucking metal. Even if it's uh, some fucking old ass, old head from the fucking eighties. Uh, but yeah, I just think, like then they started seventy. Who fucking cares, right? Let's seventy eight, seventy seven, maybe. Yeah. They met in high school or whatever their stupid romance story is. But I mean, fucking Slayer and Carrie King have been. I mean, they're literally part of the big four. Uh, the biggest... Part of the biggest group of fucking metal bands of all time. Everybody knows Slayer. Uh, and it's this the only just... thing that can stop hippies? Is Slayer? Yeah, it's the only thing that can stop hippies, man. Yeah. Well, this song... Uh, pretty fucking solid. Uh... I'm a big fan of it. Will I buy the album? Probably not, but I'm I'm sure I'll more than likely give it a listen. But today uh, I was uh, hit up, and uh, the band that surprised me with a new album that our new track that came out uh, three to go three days ago as of recording, and uh, that band is one of my favorite bands growing up. Uh, they're not the greatest band, uh, but the band that I'm talking about is Kitty. Uh, Kitty, if you don't know, is a quartet of women. They've been doing it for fucking 30 years, 35, whatever it is. At least, yeah, at least. Uh, and like m metal, I don't want to sound misogynistic, right? But Metals, uh, it, it's a genre uh, occupied almost solely by men, right? Like, the there, there's chicks in metal bands, but Kitty was like the first all chick metal yeah, band, all right? Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and, and like actually now there's more chicken metal. Like yeah, yeah. Now it's like a lot of commonplace metal bands. now, right? Yeah, like, a lot of it, new bands are and. Like, Kitty, back in the day, they, I guess they were trying to make money with them or whatever. So, like, they really never had fully developed their sound when they got signed. Because they were fucking children, literally. Uh. So, fucking, uh, so, yeah, fucking, I grew up listening to them. And, uh, I guess growing as a metalhead. <sighs> Uh, as they they too grew as metalheads, and uh, 
they've slowly gotten heavier, but like, I don't know, production value was really never there because they're fucking kitty, right? They're not Metallica. They don't fill stadiums or whatever. But fucking this song was dropped three days ago and it's called Eyes Wide Open. And I personally think it fucking rips, dude. I don't know if, how well you can hear it. But yeah, I'm just gonna. It's like a home. Damn, dude. Uh, fucking the guitar tone is fucking crushing, and her vocals sound insane, dude. Like me being a long, long time fan, right? Like I liked Kitty from when the industry tried to make all of their money off of them back in the '90s, and uh, like they were pushed on a lot of big shows and shit. They were essentially like a fucking a circus show, right? Like, hey, yeah. come, look, come look at the chicks try yeah, to. Like, something new, like, like this doesn't happen. Yeah, chicks, chicks can be brutal too. Yeah. And they had moments of brutality in a lot of their early albums, but goddamn, dude, this is fucking relentless. Dude. Like, dude, you know, I don't believe me, but like, I think I like maybe two, three weeks ago. Like, I was drinking by myself, and I just, I don't know how, like, I, I, I put a little music when I'm drinking. Yeah. And I don't know what's going, like, ew, no, I have, what happened, like, like, kidding, and I started hearing, like, the old songs that I knew, and then I started, like, going into songs that I, I never heard in a while. Like, yeah, like, I, I was listening, like, for about a whole hour, just kidding, like, like, re, like, hearing songs that I hadn't, that I hadn't heard that they got released that I never heard, because uh, I wasn't paying attention to them anymore. Yeah. But yeah, like, that just literally happened, like, at the most a month ago, like I was playing like the songs that I remember that I knew. Yeah. But then I was looking for a new song. Yeah. Well, I personally have their first two albums, and uh, I had their third album, but then I mean, like a couple years ago, some retard. Oh, thought, I remember that. Some retard thought they wanted it more than I did, so they stole a bunch of fucking thirty-year-old CDs, and. Uh, I mean, my kitty collection was part of those. Like, how much could they have gotten for those? The first off, people wouldn't have known who, who even the hell they were. Like, I, I, I want to say, like, at the time, the collection was probably like. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. But goddamn, dude, fucking brutal. Uh, I want to say maybe like 150 to 200 albums. Yeah, I mean, but like, I, I had like, been collecting those over then, my fucking lifetime, dude. Some yeah, of but those, if you go, go pawn them, how much are they gonna like? How much a pawn shop gonna value them in, for? In 2019, 2018, whenever the fuck it happened, uh, nothing. Maybe yeah. twenty dollars for the case. <laughs> Maybe here's five dollars. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah. I uh, I don't know, man. Uh, when when I heard this, like. It kind of made me giddy, right? It, it made me feel like, holy fuck, Slayer just released new music. Now Kitty just released new music. I'm fucking 14 all over again, dude. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I mean, all, all, all that I'm waiting for now is a, a new Slipknot album. <laughs> <sighs> Hold on. I gotta check now. Are they making a new fucking album? They probably are. I wouldn't doubt it, yeah. Slip no. 2024. No shit. Let me see. I think they really are. Yeah, I think they are. But like, we would have to remember now. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. According to Metal Injection. In December of last year. I'm just going to read the headline because fuck reading the article. Slipknot will release Look Outside Your Window in 2024. For real this time. (laughs) Uh, 
so apparently they recorded two albums in 2008, All Hope Is Gone and the now mythical Look Outside Your Window, which cre- uh, it apparently still has... Uh, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. What the fuck? I guess it's supposed to be a softer album or some shit. Fuck off, Metal Injection. With all your spamming shit. Even more soft? <laughs> yeah. Oh. They're essentially just going to release... Slipknot is going to release a Stone Sour album. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but yeah, fucking that new Kitty song, Eyes Wide Open, fucking, it's, it slams, dude. I I was listening to it in my fucking truck earlier, and god damn it, dude. It, it gave me motivation to want to write fucking metal music, and I probably will now. So fucking awesome, dude. I'm... All the bands that were around when I was a teenager are around again when I'm a uh, close to being middle age. Fucking we're, we're sick. Talking, like, right now, uh, Macedon and Love of Gone are on tour. Like, do you remember, we saw when they were in their prime. Yeah, we saw them when they, when people still didn't really know what the fuck Macedon was doing, and when yeah. Lamb of God was getting people like fucking crippled and shit. <laughs> with the wall of death the wall of death yeah now everybody does wall of death yeah now. now fucking everyone they do it at EDM shows and shit now dude that's yeah. so weird like they do mosh pits at hip hop shows now like y'all y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing maybe that's what uh happened at uh fucking the Travis Scott show and wherever the fuck uh people got trampled <laughs> yeah Ah, well, fucking, we're already past the time where I'd like to be with just two people. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here. I want to give uh, my guest, Mal Bolja, a quick thank you for joining. Uh, Hopefully we can get Papi back on the show soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, if you guys have any fucking sweet music recommendations, it doesn't matter the genre, uh, post it in the comments. Uh, hopefully everybody's doing well mentally, physically. Uh, if you're not, uh, it'll get better. And if it doesn't, uh, hard times make hard people. It, and, it can rain all the time. Yeah, yeah, it can't rain all the time. Unless it does. <laughs> As always, I'm your boy Desecrator. This was Hanging Heavy. As always, much love and rich and rare. This is Hanging Heavy.